Hello, Internet. My name is Zach Hack. I am a many time Minecrafter and sometimes political pundit. So today I want to talk to you all about the 2020 race for the president. I've been doing some due diligence. I've read Kamala Harris's book. I've read Howard Schultz's book. I started looking into Cory Booker as well. I'm, I'm about halfway through his book. I came across a guy by the name of Andrew Yang. But uh, what I found compelling was he's not a socialist. You know, he's a very egalitarian type. And he really believes in markets and capitalism. So his main spiel is UBI. It's uh, universal basic income. But I am attracted to UBI. So I, I find that that's a really interesting solution. As someone whose day job is working in automation software, uh, a field I've worked in for about, I guess, nine years now, I find that UBI is an elegant solution to replace a lot of our government programs with a single stipend that every person in the U.S. would get. But Andrew Yang can articulate that better than I can. Hello, I'm Andrew Yang, and I'm running for president as a Democrat in 2020. One of the central elements of my campaign is the Freedom Dividend, where every American receives $1,000 a month, free and clear, paid for by a new tax on the companies that are benefiting most from new technologies. I believe so strongly in the power of the Freedom Dividend to improve tens of millions of Americans' lives that I am personally going to give one New Hampshire resident $1,000 a month every month in 2019. Let's build a new kind of economy, one that puts humanity first. Freedom Dividend may be controversial, but the concept has had a wide range of supporters throughout history. If you look at the heritage of universal basic income, it, it's a deeply American idea where Thomas Paine was for it at the founding of the country. And then Martin Luther King was for it. Milton Friedman, the godfather of conservative economists, was for it. And one state has had it in effect for 37 years, where everyone in that state gets between one and $2,000 a year, no questions asked. That's Alaska? Yeah, it's Alaska, and they fund it with oil money. Mm -hmm. Earnest people can disagree about whether this policy will help the country. But I feel that Andrew Yang is seeing the nation as it is, not as he wishes it to be. And while I don't agree with all of his policies, the fact that he has dozens of them listed on his website is refreshing. Here you can see the top three, but also dozens of smaller ones, including one to rehab American malls. He's really thought a lot of this through. Even if those solutions don't make it to Washington, D.C. as part of an Andrew Yang presidency, he's not worried. Joe Rogan referred to him as a Paul Revere, uh, waking people up in the night to the dangers of automation. But his humility in the Freakonomics podcast is endearing. One of the fun things about running for president is you're, you spend time with other candidates on the trail. Um, I have some ideas, but, but my vision is that there is a set of patriots that are all heading to D.C. to try and save this country. I plan to be in that group. And, you know, if it's as president, fantastic. If it's as vice president, um, also fantastic. I just want to solve problems, man. I don't really care about the seating chart. You know, and someone said to me, it's like, hey, what if Joe Biden takes all your ideas? Um, I would say that's fan freaking tastic. At this stage of the campaign, Andrew needs to make the Democratic debates. To do so, he needs to have 65,000 individual donors. You could be one of those donors. Even if, you know, you're hardcore for Donald Trump or Bernie Sanders or Furman Supreme, a uh, $1 donation would help Andrew inject his ideas into our political discussion. A $1 donation to widen political discourse in an age where it's getting ever narrower and ever more partisan, I think it's worth a dollar. Go to Yang2020 and find out how you can help. Thanks.